Hello and what's up guys? In today's video, I'll be discussing 10 things that Ferrari drivers don't want you to know about. Ah, uh, Ferrari drivers. That wonderful elite class of individuals that have long been known as the most modest and well-liked motorists on the road. Right. But seriously, deep down, we'd all love to own a Ferrari. But are they really the dream cars that they're made out to be? Let's get into it and find out. Ferrari ownership cost is atrociously high. Most people aren't aware of the added costs of owning a prancing pony. Things like general maintenance and insurance add up to a sizable hole in your pocket, like a, a hole big enough to fit a Ferrari into. It can cost more than $5,000 to insure a Ferrari. General maintenance can reach 2,000 bucks. A simple oil change, for example, will set you back $400. And that's before anything actually goes wrong with your dream car. And let's face it, stuff breaks. Also, if you're living anywhere that isn't called Beverly Hills, you're going to be hit with winter storage costs. That's an extra 450 bucks a month. It might be time to say Arrivederci to your retirement fund. Arrivederci. Ferrari spare parts are very expensive. If the idea of a $400 oil change upsets you, ho ho, then take a deep breath and give your wallet the death grip. A set of engine gaskets, just engine gaskets, for a Ferrari 488 GT is north of a thousand bucks. And be careful with your gearbox, because a replacement one of those is going to set you back over thirty thousand dollars. That's more than a brand new Subaru BRZ and a four course meal at that restaurant that you can never get into. Ferrari is not good as an everyday car. Okay, let's just say you are the only child of disgustingly wealthy parents, or you sold an app, or you married wisely. You don't care about things like maintenance bills, right? It's worth all that pocket change just to be driving a Ferrari every day. Well, the thing is, these cars are great if you're cruising the winding roads of Monte Carlo or the sandy highways of the United Arab Emirates. What Ferrari drivers won't tell you is that these cars don't do so well with things like potholes and speed bumps. Plus, if you park in the wrong place, you might wind up needing a new spray job if some jealous decides to get creative with their keys. Ferrari doesn't get high scores for reliability. Of course, it's always advisable to do your homework before buying any car. It's especially important when the car costs as much as a house. And you won't need to do too much digging to uncover another ugly truth about Ferrari. According to Warranty Wise's Reliability Index, Ferrari gets a mere 13.84 out of 100. So if you want a car to depend on, you're better off with a Prius. Owners can't even sell their Ferrari in the first year of ownership. You could get lots of romantic attention when you're driving your brand new Ferrari around, but it might be best to ignore it because if you're married and you want to get divorced, well, that won't be an option for a while. See, owners claim that Ferrari in the United States requires clients to sign a contract that forbids them to resell the car for a period of time. So you should probably behave yourself because selling your supercar to pay off bills isn't going to be an option. Ferrari built some questionable cars. Yes, not every model that Ferrari has produced would grace the driveway of a Hollywood star. Seriously, the Italian manufacturer has churned out some real stink over the years. I mean, it's unlikely that Kim Kardashian will indulge her love of Ferrari by picking up a Mondial 8. And let's not even talk about the pen and concept car. Seriously, seriously, seriously. No. Even if you can afford a Ferrari, the automaker won't sell you certain vehicles. All right, all right, all right. Maybe you've sold your old car. You've saved up your pocket money. You've skipped takeout for a decade. You even downsized your property all to fund your Ferrari dream car. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that might not even be enough. You see, Ferrari has a list of preferred customers based on previous sales and brand loyalty. And if your name's not on the list, well, you're not getting in. Ferrari has some weird rules when it comes to ownership. Stuff that most other car manufacturers would never dream of imposing on their customers. For instance, did you know you're not allowed to cover the Ferrari badge, make alterations, or even own a Lamborghini? I know all that sounds crazy, but all you have to do is ask Floyd Mayweather Jr. or Justin Bieber. They'll confirm this because both have been kicked off of Ferrari's list because they dared to break the sacred rules. The Ferrari VIP list. Ferrari doesn't give access to their most exclusive models to just anyone. Not even loyal customers who have a private collection of Ferraris always make the grade. The exotic car manufacturer has its own secretive criteria for ownership of its most prized assets. You see, some Ferraris are for the true VIPs only. Engine problems are a concern. Ferraris are wonderful cars thanks to their cutting edge engineering, but they aren't flawless by any stretch of the imagination. There are plenty of reports from Ferrari owners about degrading engine mounts and even full on engine malfunctions, not something a Ferrari owner will ever want you to know about. But at the end of the day, don't you still want a Ferrari? All right, until next time.